Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. So this news comes straight out of Stockholm. Swedish teenage rapper Aina, who went number one at a mere 16 years old, has been declared dead. He was only 19 years old. Now according to authorities, the shooting was most definitely gang related, as he had a lot of rivals, and he was blasted in the face and chest. Now this comes as no surprise. It was only a year ago, well, last April to be exact, when Aina, who is famous for rapping about typical quote-unquote gangster lifestyles that details drugs, weapons and violence, he was kidnapped by a rival gang after they used a rapper to lure him to a safe place. The rival gang then beat him black and blue and then blackmailed him for 3 million Swedish krona, which works out to roughly a quarter of a million pounds. Now that's nothing when you have your life intact, believe me. Now we all know trap or drill rap, whatever you want to call it, incites violence. After all, impressionable teenagers see the glitz and glamour like Rolexes and Mercedes G-Wagons that come with rapping about street life. But the thing that nobody wants to mention is it's all a facade. You can diss said people all you like and you can pretend to be the toughest and roughest person in Sweden or London or Birmingham or Milan but other people will test you, and fortunately, it seems like Aina was no exception. Weeks prior to being assassinated, rapper Aina, whose real name is Nils Gronberg, was almost kidnapped for a second time. That same stupid gang that had kidnapped a 19-year-old had lured him to a studio this time, under the pretense of working with rapper Yasin. Fortunately, the crime proved unsuccessful. Now, Aina became a millionaire at just 16 years old, and at the young age of 19 years old, he had four successful albums, had won a number of Grammys, and was at the forefront of gangster rap, especially in Sweden. Now, since the emergence of gangster rap, Sweden crime rates for gun violence is the highest it's ever been. They actually have one of the highest gun rates in Europe. That relates to crime, of course. At least 40 people were killed in 273 shootings in this year alone. Swedish gangsters are not playing around. At 19 years old, Aina should have been enjoying all his success. Sadly, again, he was blasted in the face outside an apartment block in a residential area in Stockholm. The shooting took place on Thursday night. Again, condolences to his friends and family and fans. Stay safe. Safe.